Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a few weeks since I have had a chance to sit down and do my latest pregnancy update. And I finally had a chance to do that today. I um, actually have on makeup and felt like putting on a regular clothes, which really isn't much. It's a t-shirt and leggings, but that is more than what I usually do. So it was a good opportunity to sit down and film this. Today I am 24 weeks and 5 days I believe, 24 weeks and 4 days, so you know 24 weeks and my app of what to expect says that he is the size of an ear of corn, 8.5 inches and 1.5 pounds and um, that is exciting. I had an appointment yesterday to do my glucose tolerance test. It was not that bad. I did have to fast or not eat before the test. I um, talked to my doctor because I was concerned it would make me sick because I get sick when I don't eat. And my doctor's office is almost two hours away from where I live and he was willing to let me take the drink home, drink it on the way to the appointment. So as soon as I got there, I pretty much had my blood work drawn, did a quick appointment and was in and out. And honestly, the drink was not that bad at all. And it felt good to finally get something in my stomach because I was getting kind of jittery and hungry on the way. So. I did just fine with it but I don't know the results and I won't know for a couple of more days since I do have PCOS I have an increased risk of gestational diabetes so I'm a little bit nervous about that um, but we'll just see if something's wrong we'll just take care of it and deal with it if I fail this one of course I'll have to do the three hour test so we'll see what happens after that but as far as any updates with me and changes, the biggest is his movement. I am feeling him move all of the time now. I think in my last video update, I spoke about not really being sure until around that day, I felt a big movement, but now it's all the time. And I'm a little nervous that that's gonna be an indication of how active and awake and wild he is, but I'm okay with that because I love feeling him move. Um, Aaron has felt him kick now a few times. I, my mom, I believe, is the only other person that has felt him kick, mostly because not a lot of people I'm willing to let touch my belly and feel that. But as things progress and I, he kicks easily and it's a little bit more obvious, then I don't mind people touching my belly. But um, as of right now, he is kicking all the time. Um, my doctor, I think, said in a few weeks to start doing kick counts and I think it was what 10 counts within an hour or within two hours and this boy gets 10 kicks within 10 minutes he is moving almost constantly but um, so far it's not been bad enough for me to you know wake up by a kick or anything like that when I'm active I really don't feel him moving but when I'm sitting down I can feel him very easily I actually got a small movement on video and I put it on my Instagram and I'll try to insert it here but it was seriously just half of a second of a movement and I had to slow it down just so you could really tell on the video and you kind of have to watch it a couple of times in order to tell there's movement but um, that was a big deal for me because I've been trying to film it for so long because I can feel it, I can see it, but if I pull my phone or my camera out, it's obvious that he's gonna just stop moving. I don't know why they do that, but um, I have gotten that on camera now, so I'm really happy about that. And for the most part, like I said, the biggest change has been movement. But other than movement, there's really not been a lot of changes with symptoms or how I'm feeling the last few weeks. I feel pretty amazing, actually. I'm not having a lot of tiredness. The nausea has completely gone away. It's been weeks and weeks since I've thrown up or felt like throwing up. I am hungry all of the time and I eat more than I've ever eaten before in my life and I'm a little nervous about that, but the doctor said I've gained 13 pounds so far, which is right on track. I'm measuring right on track 
and everything was great. Yesterday his heart rate was 140 with the Doppler. I do have my at-home Doppler that I have used probably twice since I started feeling him kick because there's just no point in it anymore. I'm paying more attention to his kicks and movements more than anything else. I can tell that he kind of flips around because some days I'll feel the kicks higher up in my stomach. Other days I'll feel them so low that um, it's hard to feel them on the outside of my stomach, but I can feel them. So that's interesting to me how much he really moves around. But as long as he's head down before he comes, that's all I care about right now. He can flip and flop as much as he wants. The other huge thing that is happening or has happened since the last time I filmed is that we definitely have a name. We had a name from day one. We've had a name for 10 years actually, but I didn't film it or put it out there in the public yet because I had these ideas and plans of doing this special YouTube name reveal video and realistically, that's just not gonna happen because I have no clue what to do, I'm not creative enough, and I just don't have time to make anything or plan anything. So, I will tell you now, his name is Tristan Aaron Stiltner. And that name is really special to us because we have had that name picked out since we dated 10 years ago. We started dating in 2006, so almost 11 years ago, and you know, when you're young and dating and you talk about the future and you're in love with someone, you think about the kids that you're gonna have someday. And I remember talking to Aaron, we were probably on the phone or something, and saying that, you know, certain names we had picked out and how many kids we want and if there were a boy and if there were a girl. And I don't remember who mentioned the name first, but one of us mentioned the name Tristan. And at the time, I think the movie Tristan and His Old had not been out very long. And maybe that's why I was really into that name because I liked that movie. And Aaron said he's always liked that name because of the movie Legends of the Fall with Brad Pitt. If you know anything about it, he is very outdoorsy and rustic and fights a bear. I don't know, but it's just a name that we've always liked and that's a lot of the times how you pick out names you know you hear on a TV show or a movie and it's something that we don't know many Tristans I know maybe two it's not too unique of a name but it's also not a very common name and that was important to us because I don't want him to grow up with ten other Tristans because my name is Sarah Aaron is Aaron, and let me tell you, there were about five or six Aaron and Sarahs in each class that we had growing up. So it was important for us, for our son or our child or all of our children to have names that aren't too time specific and trendy at that moment. And of course, his middle name Aaron is just for Aaron because Aaron's middle name is Daniel from his father. And I believe his father's name is after his father. So I guess we'll keep that tradition going and who knows, maybe Tristan will do that someday for his son. But that's why we chose the name Tristan and we are getting used to calling him by that. Um, it's still hard for me sometimes because I say the baby or the baby's kicking or he is kicking and I'm trying to say when Tristan gets here Tristan is kicking Tristan will do this someday and that's kind of fun to finally say that out loud and have a name and give him an actual persona in a way and he's a person he's a child and he's going to be our um, child so it's fun to kind of start picturing that and seeing what's gonna happen I am 100% in maternity clothing at this point. I am, I feel fairly big for 24 weeks, but it's probably because I'm only four foot 11, so I guess there's not much room and he's just going to grow out. But anyway, there's really nothing else to update on. Let's see, we've talked about his name, his movements. I'm in maternity clothing all the time. I feel great. I have no complaints. I finally bought an actual pregnancy body pillow because the couple of pillows I was using are not cutting it anymore. That has been a lifesaver. So in the next few weeks, I'll try to get back with another update. Um, my next appointment is around 28 weeks. 
Oh, and another thing I found out, I found out my blood type and I am A positive, so I will not have to have the Rogam shot if you guys are familiar with that. So that's good, I won't have to do that. Um, let me think if there's anything else. I found out that we do an appointment at 28 weeks, one at 32 weeks we will have an ultrasound, and then it will be every two weeks at that point. So we're getting down two more appointments monthly and then every two weeks and that's exciting because the every two weeks to me feels like that's coming toward the end but we are coming up to the point in our scheduling where we're going to have maternity pictures and the baby shower and then that's going to be kind of nesting and getting ready for everything i've already got some clothes i don't know if you can see back there but there's a basket and a little bassinet swing. The swing was given to me by my sister-in-law, Erin's sister, and then that is full of clothes that she's given to me and clothes that I've bought that I am planning to wash. I've got some diapers, some wipes. We have the pack and play, and I did put it together just for fun, not that we need it immediately. We do not have a crib yet. We are hoping to buy that in the next few weeks, but I'm not in a hurry because I know that he's not gonna be in the crib from day one and um, we're just kind of slowly getting stuff together and getting things prepared. I'm not stressed about his room yet. Um, it's already painted, so all I need to do is just put stuff in it and decorate. I'm slowly buying things like swaddles and bed sheets, uh, crib sheets, things like that. If I see them and they go with the look and the theme, I'll buy them, but I'm not just up and buying hundreds of dollars worth of stuff right now. I'm just kind of taking it as we go. So um, we'll go from there and see what all happens, but I will go ahead and give you guys my belly shot. So be sure to um, like this video and subscribe if you're interested in following and seeing some other videos that I have planned in the next few weeks. But again, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys later. Bye.